by Puerk and Haptics, which is basically the use of the sense of touch for human-computer interaction. So this is a multimodal haptic handwriting tool. And the whole idea started when I was watching one of the elementary school teachers. He was actually holding the child's hand and teaching them onto how to physically move their hand to, to reproduce a, an alphabet. So that idea came to my mind that why don't we use the haptic modality also to teach that skill of handwriting. Also, we've implemented three levels of haptic feedback. One of them is called the full guidance haptic feedback, where this is at an early stage of learning the alphabets. You just hold the haptic device and it guides you entirely on how to reconstruct this alphabet. We also have the partial guidance haptic feedback, which is when you hold the haptic device, you get a visual feedback on how you should write the alphabet, the trajectory that you have to follow. But then if you deviate away from that trajectory, then the haptic device gives you a force feedback to put you back on the right desired path. We also have the no, no haptic feedback level where you don't want any assistance, any physical assistance from the device. And we usually use this during um, test mode. So it's not only about communicating with objects using the uh, visual or the auditory media, but you can also use your haptic modality for interacting with virtual objects or with physical environment that resides somewhere else. And we have documented this in our research that adding the haptic modality has improved the learning outcomes for learners at different levels.